Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Epcot for the special post-race party for the Wine and Dine Half Marathon Weekend. This is a after-hours event from 9.30 to 12.30 a.m. and it's going to have special villain character sightings, some unique beverages, and access to all of our favorite attractions here at Epcot, including Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. Anywho, let's go do this. Like I said before, this is a after hours event for all the half marathon runners and their families and friends to help celebrate their victory. And this is the post race party map. And take a look at the character sightings they're going to have in World Showcase Oogie Boogie in the American Adventure, the Queen or the Witch in Germany, Cheng Yu in China, Gaston Jafar, Corella Deville. So many amazing different characters to actually see. And then they're going to have live entertainment and treats. And and we're going to be able to ride Remy's Ratatouille Adventure and all the other attractions here. I am so excited. This is going to be a great event. As some of you know, I was able to do the 5K for the half marathon weekend. And my friend Meg, who ran with me, she did the 5K, the 10K, and the half marathon. So congratulations to her. And actually, I have some footage from the 5K run that we did together. And I'll put it at the end of this video so you guys can check it out. I didn't film much because we were running and it was raining and I was really just enjoying it. But I absolutely loved it and I can't wait to do more. And tonight, we're going to celebrate all of our accomplishments and just have a great Epcot night with some villains. This special after hours event is actually available for purchase. If you have a friend or a family member who did the half marathon, they actually come in for free. It's included in their half marathon ticket, but you can actually buy a ticket to come. And I think it's only about $85. So it's an after hours event for $85 with all of these character sightings, special treats, and access to Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. This might be better than Boobash, actually. It is better than Boobash. I am so excited. I am pumped for the night and just look how beautiful it is out right now. Look at that shining spaceship Earth. Just like any other after hours event, we actually have to get all checked in and get our wristband. Kind of like how the uh, Halloween parties are and the Christmas parties are. And it's really fun. I am excited. Lots of people here already for the party. Like I said, this is a really cool thing. And we're going to check in and get our wristband now. And I'm so excited. And there's actually still post-race uh, post party tickets available. Excellent. All right, party hard. Fancy, thank you. Now we got our wristband on and we're good to go. And just like any other after hours or party event, uh, anyone who doesn't have the wristband, when it comes time to the park close, they're gonna be asked to leave and we get to stay. And I am so excited. I don't even know which character I am more excited to meet tonight. Like just being able to see Oogie Boogie in Epcot, like seeing all these villains in Epcot, that is such a unique experience. Like honestly, like isn't that kind of crazy? Like villains taking over Epcot. Like you, I would have never thought that would be a thing. Of course, it being Epcot in the post-race party, it is super busy today. They also have another check-in over here. Even though uh, like the party doesn't start until 9.30, you can actually come in at 5 o'clock. But if you've been here all day because you're an annual pass holder, you have a day ticket, you can actually get your wristband while you were in the park. I am so on board with Run Disney now. I love it and I think it's something great that I can get myself into and I'm going to put a lot of effort into it. I've already signed up for my next run. I want to do the one that's coming up in January but they're all sold out so I'm going to keep checking back and I want to do the 10k and then the half marathon but what I'm going to be training up for is I want to do the Tower of Terror 10 mile. Like that is going to be in the springtime. I also want to do the Everest 5k. So they have Expedition Everest 5k and then the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror 10 mile and I want to do both of them so it's gonna be fun to actually train up and get in shape like that's the best thing like work out and try to have a little bit of a healthier like lifestyle and I'm excited to do that now I think we're gonna head into Club Cool to celebrate Meg's uh, half marathon this morning with some shots of Beverly maybe <laughs> what <laughs> no. I don't like Beverly. Oh, okay. I got another soda. You'll love then. I liked the one, the Vegetabeta one from Japan. That one's good. There's some other good ones here, but the China one you'll like a lot. What is the China one? It's a special blend. Uh, what is that? <laughs> Cheers. You know, it tastes like, like it tastes like a cough drop. Barbecue 
barbecue ginger. Uh, barbecue. He does. Barbecue. <laughs> Now you gotta take the Beverly to actually cleanse your palate from the barbecue plum. The, cleanse your palate from the barbecue plum. Still, I have to say, the China is now the new Beverly. And if you've had both of them, let me know which one you think is worse. Honestly, the China drink is probably the worst one ever. I'll take Beverly any day. Now I think we're going to head back to World Showcase. The fireworks are still going to happen tonight. The park closes at 9, and that 9.30 is when the event actually takes place. I know that the event doesn't start till 9.30, but still regular guests are here, and it is super busy at Epcot tonight. Like, holy moly. Look at the lines for the food and wine boats. This is Germany right here. And holy moly, like I feel like this is one of the busiest days at Epcot that I've seen in a very long time. And honestly, it comes to the Italy uh, booth, just forget it. Holy moly. This is the longest food and wine booth line I think I've ever seen. It's still going. It's still going. Oh, is this going all the way to America? We're going to America. <laughs> Holy moly, this would be it right here. You want those raviolis? <laughs> now we're gonna have to move along and basically at this point we're just buying time until the fireworks and then the party starts. So I wanted to come back and I wanted to show you inside restaurant Marrakesh because normally this is like a full like restaurant but because it is closed they're using it as kind of a relaxation, relaxation station so you can actually come and enjoy like how beautiful the restaurant is without like having a reservation or walking around what people are eating take a look at that it's very nice in here you can come in relax take a nap and just kind of enjoy it's very like beautiful in here I've never got to actually eat uh, in the restaurant itself so hopefully one day when it does reopen, I'll come back and uh, actually eat some food here. I think it'll be interesting. Something new and something fun to try. Let me know in the comments though if you've ever eaten in here. I wonder how the food was. I'm hoping by 9.30 after Harmonious, because Harmonious is at 9 o'clock, the crowds are actually like thin out a little bit. It might be easier to get to some of the food and wine things, but there is something good that I like here that I'll probably end up getting. Look at this bad boy. I love getting this every single time. It is so delicious. And honestly, this is probably the lowest line, like the lowest weight for a line. All of the stands have been super, super long. So at least I'm getting a classic, one of my go-to favorites of food and wine with the pistachio cake. This is always one of my go-to like favorites. Like I said, I love it. And I tried to be really neat with it, but I butchered it anyway. So I'm just gonna enjoy it. It's gonna taste the same, just like you said. Now I think we're gonna actually get a spot to watch the fireworks. Once the fireworks are done, the show is gonna start, but look at how crowded it is. I think we're just gonna have to find a spot and blend in. Cheers. Now we got a spot, cheers. So harmonious. It's a buddy. That's just wrong. You know, nobody's gonna know what we're talking about. No. <laughs> You raise your voice and it's enough to lift the human spirit. Set the song inside you soaring, and the whole wide world will hear it.
party has officially started, and I think we're gonna go run and get in line for one of the villains. I think that's like one of the biggest draws. And since we're watching the fireworks in Japan, I think we're gonna head over to America where Oogie Boogie might be. Everybody's actually leaving and we're rushing over so we can get in line for the character meet and greets. We were exactly one minute away from where the first villain meet and greet is actually gonna be at. As soon as the fireworks ended, we hopped right over, but there was a gigantic line already. So right here, I'm not too sure who's gonna come out first. It's either gonna be Oogie Boogie or Dr. Facilier, and look at the line. Like I said, this is minutes after the fireworks ended. Oh, it's Dr. Facilier, there he is. Hey, That is awesome. Well, I guess that's good timing for me to be standing right here. Well, I guess that answers the question on who's coming out first. Now, it says and or, it says or. So basically, uh, later, but later on, or once he actually goes and takes a break, uh, Oogie Boogie might be coming back out. So we'll keep updated, we'll check it out. But we're gonna move along after we meet him to another spot to actually see another character. Hello, friend. How are you? How you doing, oh, we're gonna do a photo. Chante. Yeah, hey, very fancy. We made a grave mistake. Oogie Boogie has been spotted, and he is out. And I thought it was and or, but it is and. They're just in different spots. There he is, right there in his graveyard. So we're gonna have to go down there and actually meet him. Wow. Two amazing villains in like less than 15 minutes, but the line is pretty long. Look at that, isn't that so awesome? Oh, he's doing a little dance too. Oh, look at this, he's coming down. He's strutting his stuff. Well, 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 what have we here? <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh. He'll come back out though. Looks like a potato. Oh, he turned around. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 For me, my next Look family. at this. Next family right here. Thank you so much. Wait. That is so amazing. Zero's tombstone is behind him. Can I just say, I'm not usually a loss for words when it comes to characters, but Oogie Boogie made me like, I, I was silent. I didn't know what to say. I was so excited and now we got to see him. Now you could have seen him actually when you were running in the race, but I didn't get to see a lot of the different characters because it was raining. So I'm just super excited I got to meet him tonight. And right here in Italy, right next door, we have some more. We have Guinea and Falfalo right here. See, that is so awesome. The line is actually pretty long for this one as well, but nothing compared to Oogie Boogie. I mean, we got Oogie Boogie done, and that was the longest one. Look at, oh yeah, right here is where the line actually ends. Oh, and then it also looks like we got the zombie drummers here in uh, the Germany Pavilion. Wow, look at that. It is so hard to process everything so quickly. We are literally just bouncing. Dr. Facilier, Oogie Boogie, the zombie drummers, and now we are actually in Germany and the queen is out. Look at that. <gasps> so amazing. We're gonna have to get in line real quick for this one. The line actually seems a little bit long, but totally worth it. We're going back here, going to the back of the line. As we're actually just walking around, the zombies are just coming through. Hi friends, how are you? <laughs> Look at this, here they come.
here in the Germany Pavilion, it does look like they're alternating from the witch to the queen. And honestly, they're both the same character, but I would like to see the witch a little bit more. I do love the queen, but oh man, it'd be cool to see the witch. I mean, she's kind of scary looking. I just realized that the queen is actually on my 5K medal. So I think I'm actually getting a photo with her and my medal together. And it's so cool, cause look at, right there she is. And right there she is. Hello. Oh, hello. You're on my medal. As I should be. Yes, you should be. We clearly need positive role models around. Yes, and you are a positive role model. Thank you so much. <laughs> We're gonna take a photo. I gotta put my medal on for it, though. Indeed. Yes, Let's indeed. Frame my portrait upon the mantle. <laughs> above everyone else. Above everyone else. Okay, so it was nice to see the queen, but I think we're gonna hop back in line and hopefully the witch will come out in her uh, place after she goes in. And it'd be nice to see the witch and then the queen, cause you know, that's who she transforms into. And uh, yeah, it's not that long of a line, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Welcome, Ron Disney runners, spectators, family, and friends to our wickedly delicious post-race party <laughs> celebration. Whether you ran the five, the ten, the half, or all three, it is time now to relax Ooh, wow. and enjoy the fermented fruits of your success. <laughs> so, raise your drink. To all the ghoulish fun of this weekend, but most importantly, as we toast to all of you. And it looks like the queen has went in and now the witch is out. Look at her, this is terrifying, isn't it? <laughs> And I love it, so we're in the Goofy movie. <laughs> Seeing it eye to eye. Look at those hands. Oh, oh, <laughs> I love it. Very scary. <laughs> oh, poison apples are the way. <laughs> now we gotta move along. The only one that is back that way is over in China, and that's Xiang Yu. And we already seen him when we did the 5K, so we're gonna head to the UK. But I love the Goofy movie. I can't believe they're playing Beastie Boys at World Showcase right now. <laughs> but she still says no! <laughs> As we are walking through, look at this, Jafar is just hanging out in Morocco, and there's no line, you kinda just go up, and take a photo. Look at how evil he looks. Holy moly. Whatever you do, don't look into that scepter. Don't look into it. Don't look into it. <laughs> oh. I ran into one of my friends who was actually cheering on a lot of the racers, and she has a, a really awesome foundation that she actually does for the races. Yeah. What do you, you want to tell us about it? Yeah, so Kelsey's Hope Foundation, uh, the short version is that we are all volunteer organization. We have no paid employees. 100% of our net proceeds go directly to our cause, and that's uh, granting wish trips and gifts for children with cancer. If they are um, healthy enough, we send them on a vacation. Most of the time, of course, it's to Disney, and if they are too ill, we um, go down their wish list and buy them whatever they want to. We also do um, Oscar, uh, childhood cancer research, and we also do scholarships for nurses, high school students that are going into nursing, and for nurses that are looking to further their education. Nice! So, yeah, so we are at every single Run Disney race, and um, we are celebrating our 10 year anniversary this year, so it's super special. Well, congratulations, Thanks 10 so years! Much. And I'll put all the information in the video description so you guys can check it out. That's awesome. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Body together, together. That's the way. <laughs> this is Run Disney events right here. Look at everyone's clapping. <laughs> I love it. Oh my lord, I am loving everything about tonight. It is a night full of celebration and everyone is dancing, having an amazing time. Villains all around Epcot's World Showcase 
and we still got a couple to actually go. We're gonna head to the United Kingdom and we're also gonna head to France and see if there are any other villains around and it's been just an amazing night. I, I'm, I'm really happy I'm here. Looks like we're coming up on another villain uh, character sighting and I'm not too sure who it is so we're just gonna wait around. When you see a big group of people, you're knowing someone's coming out soon so we're just gonna wait and see who comes out. I bet you they're gonna come out over here so we'll get a good shot of them. Never thought I'd be able to see Maleficent with the spaceship Earth in the background there. That is really awesome. That was pretty amazing. And now we gotta keep moving along and we're gonna go see if we can find Corella DeVille. I'm gonna give her a message from Gracie. I'm betting if anything, she's back here. In the gardens. In the gardens. Hopefully there's no Dalmatians back here, unless the Queen of Hearts is back here. I was thinking it would be, yeah, I see the queen. Oh, I see her. <laughs> I see her. <laughs> this is really awesome. No lines again. You kind of just walk up and actually just take a, take a selfie. No, no, I just got a new phone. Off with their heads. <laughs> oh, she looked right at me when I said that. <laughs> oh God. I think we're gonna wait out here for a second. The Queen of Hearts is over there right now and we just got to meet her, but I think Corella DeVille is gonna swap out with her and I wanna show her a picture of Gracie and see if she wants her. I'll never let her have her, but you know, it's gonna be nice and tell her, you know, back off, back off. <laughs> I'm gonna show her this picture of Gracie right here, just so she knows she's a Hufflepuff. Oh, here they come. Ooh, <laughs> she gone. Yeah, she did not get that door fast enough. <laughs> Ew, are you all waiting for me? Oh, 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 oh. You're welcome. Thank you. Yes, hello, darling. This is my dog. It's a Hufflepuff Dalmatian. Oh, look at this one. Yes. Oh, you can stay. <laughs> Sit. Sit. Good. Good. Where are all your spots? That's what I would like to know, darling. <laughs> Don't depress me. <laughs> I was having such a good moment. Oh. Not even on the front. Oh. <laughs> Not on the front. It's a terrible design. Sorry. Sorry. Yes. You should be on he, the front. Luke, he well, wants, yeah. he wants to share. He wants story. to share his. He wants to share his Dalmatian. You're actually the yeah. hero. It's a, uh, Gracie is her name. Oh, I don't care about names. Gracie Dalmatian. <laughs> and she, where is it? Oh, uh, she's at home. She's here in Orlando. Oh, and you'll be here until when? Um, oh, well, I can bring her. You gonna say hi? Oh, you're better than Horace and Jasper. Oh, yes! Oh, I guess I am. Oh, I think that's a compliment. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. She says hi. It's just say, I will see you soon. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no. Nice. How many dogs can you fit in there? A hundred and one. Oh yes. <laughs> Perfect. So soft. Yes. Wow. And take a look at this. The cadaver dancer in Epcot. That is so amazing.
So that was really cool to see Corella DeVille. Of course, I would never give her Gracie, but I would love to get a photo with Corella and Gracie together. I don't think that'll ever happen. And then we saw the cadaver dance and they started singing Corella DeVille. So cool. Looks like we found a dance party too. It was already in the front of the park, like it was the front of World Showcase. Oh, I love how all the cast members are dancing. That is really nifty. Oh. Raise your glass! Raise your glass! The dance party is pretty popping, but I think we're gonna start making a slow exit out of the park actually. It's definitely been a long day. But well, look at how beautiful that is as we actually walk out. I'm so happy they kept the beacons of magic actually running all night. Spaceship Earth all lit up like that. Beautiful. It is a crazy party in there, but I think we're calling it a night. It's almost 12.30. It's almost, the park's almost done. The, the event is almost over, and they're still playing some music and rocking out. Villains are still out, and this whole weekend has been absolutely amazing. Doing my first run, which now I love, and I was so nervous going into it because I didn't know what to expect, and I was happy that I had a friend there. I had Meg with me, and she helped me out. And I gotta say, like, don't be nervous about things like this, you know, go out and have fun. And I was like super nervous. I was hitting the treadmill, like honestly, like three times a week, running a 5K, trying to get my time down. And at the end of the day, I came to the 5K, I had fun and I enjoyed running through Epcot. So, I mean, if you're nervous, it's okay to be nervous, but don't be too nervous. Anywho, this event was amazing. And now I'm gonna leave you guys with uh, the footage that I have from the 5K. So I hope you guys enjoy it. It's gonna end with me getting my medal. And uh, yeah, it was all amazing. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Now it's time we head to our corral. And I'm with Meg. Ready to go, a little rainy. It's just a smidge. A smidge, a smidge, but it's not gonna stop us. Yeah, <laughs> Look at this right here, that is amazing. Wow. and I am so ready and they're chanting out you got this and we got this oh 30 seconds to go 30 seconds three two one go everybody we are off <laughs> Just a quick pit stop and now we're back at it. Oh yeah. There we go. Woo! We're underneath test track. <laughs> My glasses are all wet and smeared up, but I'm sure the lens is as well. But I love how everything's lit up here at World Showcase. They've got the fire on and all of the showcase pavilions actually have their lights on. This is really cool. Cool touch. We're stopping for another photo opportunity. This one looks like the longest line so far. I'm not too sure what it is, but like I said, we're still making pretty good time. And I want to experience all these things. It's not about just running to the finish, it's about enjoying it. Okay, it is a super rare character. It's Sean Yu from Mulan, and that is awesome. Definitely a character meet and greet that I've never seen before, so we're gonna wait it out. We have to, it's a must. Look at him, he looks so intimidating back there. This is a super rare character. I'm so excited that I'm actually gonna be able to do a photo with them. Coming up on a water stop, but I feel like I've got enough water in my clothes right now. <laughs> like, and in my shoes. Definitely the shoes. Well, 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 what have we here? Oh, awesome. <laughs> I think we're done, we did it. Almost there. Oh, I like how they have uh, 
Christmas music playing right now. <laughs> it is you! You just finished the 5K. What are you, what are you, are you doing, doing do? next? I'm gonna go to Disney World. <laughs> I'm going to Disney World. <laughs> Oh, look at Daisy up there! Oh boy, here we are! <laughs> Thank you! Woohoo! Yes! Yeah. <laughs>